All right, in three, two, and one. Get those glutes on. Squeeze. They might want to flutter off. Just flutter them, push them back on. You got it. Halfway. I'm totally going to sweat in this hat a lot. Five more seconds. And time. All right. So hopefully we're getting a little bit warm now. Let's grab your bands. And I want you to put, if you have two, put one above your knees and the other one at your ankles. All right, we're going to start with a banded cha-cha. So basically, we're going to have a little bit of a bend in our hips and our knees. We're going to go out to the side, 45 degrees, and back. Okay, we're going to do for this, for 30 seconds, a leg. Starting now, side, 45, and back. As you move this leg, you want to make sure you're squeezing that butt. Connect your mind to your muscle. And if you want to just place your hand there, just in your back pocket to make sure that it's squeezing on, that's great. Your non-working leg is going to work here too as well, supporting you. Double whammy. You got it. In two and one. Good. Let's switch sides. Little bend in your hips and your knees. And let's go out to the side. 45 degrees and back. Nice work. Take a peek down at this supporting leg knee. Make sure it's not caving in. You want it nice in line with your ankle. Squeeze that butt. You got it, ladies. Nice work, almost there. In two and one. Good, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna do a lateral band walk. Okay, let's go. Make sure your head is not bobbing up and down. Your feet stay nice and parallel. Don't drag your feet. Make sure you're taking steps. Keep your knees out wide. Nice. Looking so good. I'm going to use mine. And do it this way. Nice work, ladies. Alrighty, take a little break. We're going right back into our banded cha-cha. Okay, -cha. this time start with this opposite leg you started with last time. Ready? And let's go out to the side, 45 degrees, and back. You got it. Connect your mind to your muscle. Make sure your foot's not caving in. Keep that arch up. Nice work. Good job, ladies, looking strong. Five more seconds. And time, switch legs. Other leg, and let's go out to the side. 45, and back. Good. Hopefully your glutes are turning on. Halfway. Nice work. Five more seconds. In two and one. All right, ladies, right into our lateral band walk. And let's go 30 seconds side to side. Don't drag those feet. Keep those feet nice and parallel. And if you want to place your hands in your upper back pocket, just to make sure you're getting that good firing, that good mind-muscle connection. Nice work. Two and one. Woo, okay, take a break, grab a drink of water. We're going to move on to some hip thrusts. All right, so you need something heavy for this. We're gonna do our single leg hip thrust, our regular hip thrust, going really nice and slow. Like, I want you to do your regular hip thrust 
like slower than you ever think, okay? Then we're gonna do a top bridge abduction and then a narrow bridge. We wanna work nice and hard before we eat all of those good yummy treats. Okay, so if you have bands, both of them are gonna be around the top of your knees. We're gonna start with our single leg hip thrust with our shoulders on the pad. So the bottom of your shoulder blades is gonna line up with the bottom of the pad. Good, we're gonna start with one leg in three, two, and one. Up and down, nice. If you need a modification here, you go up in two legs. At the top, take one down and go down in one. As you thrust up, breathe out. Good. Get that squeeze on, get that full extension. Nice work, ladies. In two and one. Other leg, starting now. Nice work, get that nice good full range of motion down to the ground, back up to that top. Get that good squeeze in that glute. If you need a modification here, you go up in two. At the top, take one down. Nice work. Drive through your heel. In two and one. We're going into our regular hip thrust. I want you to grab something super heavy. Hopefully Paul's around and gives you those 50s. Okay, I want our feet wide and our knees wide. Ready? Let's go. We're going so slow here. Slowly up, slowly down. I want you to keep your knees wide the entire time. I want you to feel that articulation in your spine at the bottom position as you roll that tailbone under. Good. And in your top position, your full extension, I want you to get that really nice, good squeeze. Nice work, ladies. Five more seconds. And time, take that weight off, don't let it go too far. We're gonna stay right at the top and push our knees out. Top bridge abduction, nice. The trick here is to keep that full extension. So keep your hips really nice and high and don't let them sink. Nice work, keep those hips high, keep those glutes squeezed. Your glutes should be firing the entire time. Five, in two, and one. Grab that heavy weight, narrow bridge, feet and your knees together, and let's go up and down. Nice work, ladies. In your bottom position, tuck that tailbone under. Get that squeeze in your top position. In two and one. All right, take a break. We're gonna do that one more time. All right, we're starting with our single leg hip thrust. If you wanna add a little weight here, go ahead. Just make sure that you really get that full extension. <sighs> we ready? Not so many thumbs up, that's okay. They're in the zone. Okay, start with the opposite leg you started with last time. In three, two, and one. Up and down, single leg. <sighs> nice full range of motion. <sighs> If you can touch the ground, do that. And then go all the way up. You got it. So strong. If you need a modification, go up in two legs. At the top, take one down and go down in one. Let's go. In two and one. 
other leg starting now. Nice work, ladies. Make sure you eat a lot of good food this weekend and wish it all goes to your glute gains. That's what I'm gonna hope for. You got it, almost there. Five, and two, and one. Grab this heavy weight. Your feet are wide, your knees are wide. Yes, there's the 50. We're gonna give Caitlin a minute to get ready. Knees are wide, feet are wide in three, two, and one. It's deadly slow, slower than you think. I want you to feel all of the muscles firing. I want you to feel the articulation in your spine curling under as you thrust up and squeeze those glutes at the top. Keep your knees out wide the entire time. This should be so hard. If it's not hard, go slower. Squeeze. Yes. Nice work, ladies. Good job, Annika. Good job, Shannon. Good job, Danielle. Good job, Michelle. Hopefully, Joanne is in there somewhere. We're doing this for a minute. If you need to stop now, we're at 50 seconds. Or keep going. You got it. Five more seconds. Two and one. Take that weight off. Get right back at the top. Hips are high. And let's go. Knees out. Pulse them out. Keeps those hips high. Those glutes are squeezed on. Nice. This is Snoop Dogg now. That's so fun. Come on. Keep those hips high. Keep those glutes tucked under. And that core is engaged. You got it. 10 more seconds. In five, let's go, hips high, glutes on, in two, and one. Grab this heavy weight again, put it on your hips, narrow bridge, let's go. Up and down. As you thrust up, breathe out. Drive through those heels. Nice. This is our last hip thrust of the day. Make it count. Get that full extension at the top. You got it. We're coming up on 30 seconds. We're going to keep going a little bit longer if you can hang with us. Let's go. In five. In two. Last one. All right, team, take a break. Grab a drink of water. How's your booty, Caitlin? <laughs> All righty. We're going to take our bands off and move on to some lunges. Woo. So grab some dumbbells. We're going to start with a curtsy lunge. Then we're going to go into a stiff leg deadlift. Then we're going to go into some more lunging, some more deadlifting, and then a kettlebell swing. Woo, all right, this will be fun. Okay, so we're gonna do curtsy lunge on one leg. Basically, your back leg is a little bit behind. You wanna play with this foot to see where you feel the most glute stretch, but we're gonna go up and down for 30 seconds. All right, in three, two, Three, two, one, let's go. Up and down on one leg. Feel that glute squeeze, that stretch, and then squeeze to stand up. This is actually the perfect exercise to do in a skirt. Curtsy. Thanks for joining my class. You got it in two and one switch legs other leg in two and one Whew. 
nice work as you stand up that's when you breathe out Whew. nice work ladies almost there in two and one all right we're going into a stiff leg deadlift this time i want you to try out feet wide if you have a good stretch in your hamstrings then you want to stand on a stool if you can't you can do this from the ground okay so you're standing on something if you have this good stretch grab something heavy caitlin you can use the 50s that will be a good weight because it's a deadlift everyone's strong in their deadlift ready in three two one so we're stretching down squeeze stand up again yes annika so strong good keep your arms nice and straight and use those glutes to stand you up again we want to think of tucking that tailbone under so we can stand up similar mechanics to our hip thrust nice good stretch nice good contraction in two and one you got it all right this is what we're doing next we're doing a reverse lunge stand up deadlift same leg reverse lunge deadlift you can either kick stand or you can float okay option there we'll do one leg at a time in three two and one let's go reverse lunge same leg deadlift reverse lunge and then deadlift this song is really intense so we better be having a good workout it's like come on it's Christmas that's what I felt that song was like nice work ladies you got it five more seconds and time switch legs other leg starting now nice work reverse lunge deadlift You got it, almost there. In two and one. All right, last one of the circuit is a kettlebell swing. Make sure when you're swinging, you don't overextend your back. Same thing we're doing in our hip thrust from the glutes, not from our back. Although it will feel it in our back because it's a whole posterior chain exercise. Okay, in three, two, one let's go use your glutes nice Sarah good job Annika good keep those feet grounded planted on the ground thrust the air as you thrust up breathe out you got it keep that core engaged in two and one all right that's our circuit we're gonna do that one more time grab a drink of water whoo all righty we're starting with our curtsy lunge start with the opposite leg you started with last time if you can remember <laughs> all right let's go in three two and one let's go 
One leg at a time. Feel that stretch. Feel that contraction. Good. Nice work. So anytime we're doing a lunge for our glutes, and that's time, switch legs. In two, and one. Anytime we're doing a lunge for our glutes, I want this forward torso lean. This increases this stretch in our glutes. If we're standing nice and upright, that's more quaddy. When you're doing glutes, get that forward torso lean. You got it. Five more seconds. Two and one. Nice work. We're moving on to our deficit stiff leg deadlift with our feet out wide, our toes pointed 45 degrees. All right. In three, two, one. Let's go. Feel that stretch in the bottom. Squeeze to stand you up. Nice work, ladies. Make sure you're tucking that tailbone under as you stand up. Good. Make sure the arch in your feet are up. Don't let those fall in. 10 more seconds. You got it. In two and one. Nice work, team. We're moving on to our superset. Reverse lunge into single leg deadlift. Make sure when you're doing your reverse lunge, you have this forward torso lean. I don't want your shoulders to round forward. I just want your whole torso to bend forward. In three, two, one, let's go. Reverse lunge, deadlift. Reverse lunge, deadlift. Option to float your leg up in your deadlift, if you're good at balance. Or just have it there as a kickstand behind you for support. Nice work, ladies. Five more seconds. In two and one. Other leg. In two and one. Reverse lunge, deadlift. Nice work, looking so strong. You got it. Five more seconds. In two and one. Alrighty. We are moving on to our kettlebell swing. And then we have a break. In three, two, and one, let's go. Thrust. Squeeze those glutes together. Keep your core engaged. As you thrust, breathe out. Keep your feet planted on the ground. Really squeeze those glutes. You got it. Let's go, 10 more seconds. Squeeze. In five, two, and one. All right, take a break, grab a drink of water. All right, let's move on to our mat. All right, we're going to be on all fours. 
and we're going to have one leg out to the side and we're going to lift it up and down. So basically I want your hands to triangle the bent knee, this foot out to the side. I want your ankle bone in line with your hip bone. We will get started in three, two, and one. Keep your foot nice and perpendicular to your body. And we're moving that foot up and down. Now, a common sheet is to tilt. So you want to lift the opposite hand to make sure that this movement is coming from your glute only and not a rotation in your torso. If you want to make it harder, barely touch the ground and go right back up again. And that's time. Switch sides. Other leg. In three, two, and one. Up and down. Keep that core engaged. You got it. Let's go almost there. And time. All right, we're going to do one quick adductor exercise just to make sure we're not off balance here. So you'll want to take a lie down on your side. The top leg is either going to float and you're going to touch the bottom one to meet it or it can just rest here uh, at the front of you. Okay, 30 seconds, starting now. Nice work, team. Almost there. And two, and one. Other side. Oh, this song might be explicit. Sorry, ladies. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. So we just want to work our adductors just a little bit so we don't get um, injured by being unbalanced. But don't worry, this is it. fun song okay two and one let's go right back up on our hands and knees foot out to the side in three two one let's go lift that foot up and down keep that core engaged make sure you're not twisting in your torso the movement is coming only from your glute Nice, make sure your foot is nice and perpendicular to your body. In five. And time, other side, starting now. So check in with yourself, lift that opposite hand to make sure you're not twisting. Halfway. <sighs> nice work, ladies. <laughs> In five. And time. All right, let's grab your bands. If you have a yoga block, keep it nearby or a book, but it's optional. Okay, we're going to move into some clamshells. So put your band just above your knees. Take a lie down on your side. So I want your knees at 90 degrees, but I want your hips fairly wide open. I want you to keep your 
your heels together and we're just going to open up and toward clamshells. Nice. So if you need more here, I want you to rotate your belly button and your chest more towards the ground. And two, and one, other side. So your knees are at 90 degrees, your hips are fairly wide open. Keep your heels together, open your knees and your toes. Good. You wanna think of sucking that femur bone into your hip socket. And tilt your chest, your belly button more towards the floor to increase that contraction in that glute. And time. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Switch over to your other side. All right, and let's go. Knees are opening, toes are opening, and tilt that chest towards the ground. This EDM Christmas music really makes me want to go dance, I guess by myself, but soon, we'll be together soon. Five more seconds. And time, last side. And let's go. Woo. Tilt that chest and belly button towards the ground. Ooh, the second time is always so much harder. In two and one. All right, we're gonna move into our frog pumps. So if you have a cloth band, I recommend you take it off because when we're in our frog pumps, I want your knees to come out at about a 45 degree angle. Those cloth bands are really tight. Okay, so our frog pumps, our soles of our feet are together. And I want you to have a weight handy if you've got something about five to 15 pounds. We are going to do 30 seconds with a weight, 30 seconds without a weight, a little bit faster, and then a 30 second hold, and then we will be done. All right, so with our yoga block or our book, I want you to place your feet on it. This is gonna give us a little bit more range of motion. And sorry I'm flashing you guys, I promise I'm wearing shorts. Okay, so make sure your feet aren't too far away from you. If you tuck up into a crunch, you can feel your, your feet, your heels, okay? We're gonna start with our weight. If you've got something about five to 15 pounds, maybe 20 if you're badass, okay? We're doing 30 seconds with the weight in three, two, one, let's go. Now, if you have your feet on a yoga block or a book, this is giving you more range of motion, which is great. Make sure you touch your butt to the ground and then get your hips all the way up nice and high. Don't cheat these reps here. Get your hips nice and high. Whew. Nice work, ladies. You got it. When we take the weight off, we're gonna go a little bit faster in two and one. Take that weight off and pump it out. You got it. Let's go. Nice work, ladies. Pump it out nice and fast. You can post up on your elbows for it to support so you're not sliding around. Nice work. When we come up on 60 seconds, we're going to hold it at the top for our final squeeze. In two 
and one. Hold it at the top and squeeze. I want you to get those hips really nice and high here. Keep that squeeze on your glutes. And ask yourself, can you squeeze your glutes harder? Yes, you can. I know it. Halfway. You got it. Let's go. Squeeze. Get those hips higher in 10. Come on. Squeeze harder. You got it. In five. Let's go higher. Harder. In two. And one. Ladies and gentlemen, you did it. Take the band off. Take one ankle. Put it over your knee. And squeeze in. You can rock side to side, give your low back a little massage. Pull this knee in nice and tight. Good, you can switch sides. Nice work, ladies. Now your glutes are nice and primed to eat all of the turkey and the stuffing and the holiday cookies. We're gonna roll up and get a nice little pike here, hamstring, Whew. stretch. And then we can put one foot over the other. Twist here, make sure you release your neck. Let's switch sides. Squeeze in here, twist in your back, release your neck. They're going to turn this into an EDM song. Ooh, I want for Christmas. It's for all you guys to have a big, big booty. Thank you so much for coming. And now we can have a dance party. Ooh. Merry Christmas, everyone! I don't want a lot for Christmas, except for everyone to have a big, big booty. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin, for coming. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Sarah. See you later. Have a great Christmas. Love you guys. <laughs>